Welcome to the best lands in the world of Kataria, where heroes try their best against the forces of evil, ranging from people to demons. Will they succeed, or will chance knock them down? Well, we will have to see as you all join in watching with the dragons to see if heroes are victorious or evil takes Kataria. Welcome to the world of Kataria. Hey everyone, Dragon Cowboy here coming to you live from the Dragon's Den for another night in the world of Kataria. Actually, the gateway world of it, where these adventurers of ours that we are with tonight are at. That a couple of them have been dubbed Pandora's. <laughs> Nothing but, bad has happened so far. <laughs> hey, Archer, good to see you. So, of course, this is my final night for Able Gamers, as I don't stream other days. <laughs> so... Uh, try the full shout out, not just SO. That made me. I'll just talk about Able Gamers first. Yeah. So, with Able Gamers, they help disabled people to be able to game that normally could not be able to game with special technology, controllers, that sort of thing. So, definitely support them, help them out as such. Uh, also, um, October 1st, TBC is, of course, raising money for the American Cancer Society then. Definitely help support with that. We have a lot of events during that month uh, in Guild Wars 2. I have a special D&D &D on October 24th that is Witchers. So definitely going to be interesting to see as uh, that will be level 20 combat. I think the first time for some people ever. So, yes, it will be. Definitely be fun for them. So, definitely check that out. Also, check out some great people. Uh, definitely, we'll talk about Sin, as he has been one that has put this whole family together, TBC. And as such, we have Stroll in the Pink. That will be the first walk on October 3rd and such. And it will end on October 31st with Night of the Necromancers. Which happens to be the blue full moon. We're actually going to have two full moons in October. That's a definitely a special thing. <laughs> but, that's about all my announcements at the moment. Why don't we have our other streamers talk... Uh, I'll go ahead and talk about Elusive as Elusive, right now, he's not able to speak till about 8 my time as uh, his uh, roommate's working, so he's got to be quiet, so so we usually read what he types that he does, but uh, Ko does uh, a lot of different things, he's known to do like uh, Horror type of games, uh, like in Alan Wake, the good old Barry meme is a thing with him. Uh, he's also played some Assassin's Creed, uh, Pillars of Eternity. I know he's played some of that, I believe. A lot of yes. different games, and he even does like Jackbox games on Saturday, I think, when he can. So, definitely check him out. So, with that. <laughs> Sean versus yeah I don't know which one would do that though but Aline why don't you go ahead and go hi I'm Aline Rican here and on Twitch I'm Grantha Aline on YouTube I play a variety of uh, games anywhere from horror to uh, racing and I've been playing uh, Control, which is a unique game. Uh, 
I'm hoping to uh, be able to stream something again tomorrow, uh, but I do uh, teach school to my kid at, here at home, and uh, I have also uh, am needing to get back into primal, but I am planning on as soon as I can to play Man and Medan due to the uh, second installment comes out next month. Until then, you have all these other amazing uh, streamers you can watch. Go ahead, Fuzzy. Okay. Uh, hello. I am Penberg67. Um, other people call me Fuzzy. As you can tell. Um, I play a very wide variety of games. Right now, my main ones are more of the roguelikes. Uh, examples being Hades, Skull the Hero Slayer. Um, one of my newer games, uh, Bullets Per Minute. Um, Dead Cells. And a few other games. Uh, one game I'm excited to start streaming again once I find the time to do it is Tetris Effect. So that'll that'll be fun to, to show off again. Um, possibly sometime tomorrow or Thursday, I don't know when exactly. But until then, you have all the other awesome streamers here in the channel to watch, including Beacon37 over here. Go ahead, hon. Speaking of beat-like games that have roguelike elements, we recently defeated Zone 3 with, of course, because I'm stubborn, uh, Cadence, who is harder to use than Bard, because you have to go on the beat and kill on the beat. It can be very difficult. We showed Zone 4 today on stream, and yeah, I'm feeling it. That's for sure. So, uh, can't wait to build some endurance. Um, yeah, it's not, th those games. Some people can get better than others. I am the type of I like to think before I do something. That is everything is constantly moving, and you have to adapt to it. Period. I mean, sure, I guess I could pause it, but then I would lose the like the multiplier. And I'd lose the beat and all that. Which, by the way, there are characters, if you screw that up, you die. So, I'm trying to get into a good habit of that. So, um, announcement to make, though, real quick. Basically, uh, thank you all for coming. Um, I definitely like to shout out Dragon at the end of my streams. Just so that you guys can remember he's streaming on the days that I do. Um... I have acid reflex and I take eight different medications. So I'm going to try to limit how much I shout out people. Um, I'm going to make incentives, however, with raid commands, with shout outs of other people. Um, and of course, I could like briefly go over somebody after I've gave them like a bigger shout out throughout the stream and stuff. Um, I realized that. I am pushing myself a bit too hard <laughs> when it comes to that. But you know what? It's all thanks to you guys. I love you. I'm glad that you broke me, so to say, today. So, <laughs> um, so thank you so much for the love and support. Um, Friday, we're going to be doing a uh, weird romance-inspired um, run for Soul Level 1 Dark Souls. I mean, I've had other people want me to do it but i'm actually you know motivated to do it because i've seen him on my team doing ludwig the accursed um uh, also known as ludwig the holy blade in phase two so hopefully i can be amusing and kick bosses butts without leveling up in dark souls 3 so wish me luck um we'll probably switch uh because of how certain areas don't run very well to my fist challenge and then maybe even our torch challenge on friday so 
Um, look forward to that. And then Monday, hopefully Fall Guys will not be in maintenance because Season 2 comes out next week. I'm definitely looking forward to playing some more of that, and especially with you guys. Hopefully I can help you guys get to level 40. And thank you so much yesterday again for whoever showed up in general for however long a time because that was a longer stream. And yeah, <laughs> it was tough on me and probably tough on you guys to watch at time. So <laughs> I appreciate you all. Um, time for some crazy action with the Pandora twins and their <laughs> Bahir. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yes. So that is our announcements, of course. Remember, Able Gamers, uh, give them some love and remember that. I'll try to remember and give it no shout out at break time, but let's get into tonight's World of Kataria with the Pahela ship of friends. Okay. One moment. Why am I hearing myself on that? I have you muted on my end, so. I don't know. Okay, I. Why am I hearing my. S Some days I am ready to kill stuff. I do not know why I'm hearing myself. It's almost like I'm hearing myself. I don't know. I mean, when I go to just the clean version, I'm not even hearing myself. It's like when I'm going to that one. Test. Test. Oh, All right, anyway, I'm going to just talk in normal voice till I figure out what's going on here. So last time we were a fellowship of friends, as they were heading for the village where a trail white is fighting demons, of course they had stopped off to get find out some information on a few people from the dead, as they had done so. But along the way, uh, they were running into a Bahir that was having a nice meal of, like, a few different kinds of people. And, uh, a fight ensued. Nice long fight till all of a sudden, Kaizen decides to talk to the Bahir. When you hug it, that sort of thing. Actually, through Marius. persuasion, <laughs> through very persuasive means of rolling, along with some help from Nevmir, <laughs> they actually befriend the Bahir for more demon meat food. Just depending on how all that goes, that will be interesting to see. But with that, you are still traveling towards the village. And uh, you're going to stop for a long rest. It's going, as I said, it would be a few days. So, the Bahir already having that meal that day, you're kind of lucky. 
but uh, who will be doing the watches for this night? So, if you're wondering why I'm quiet, it's because I'm just staring. And I'm staring at them. I'm just waiting. I'm just waiting. I want two people to take responsibility. Mm-hmm. Take responsibility of their little pet buddy. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Never will go up first. Okay. Stares at the other one. <laughs> I'm just going to stick my tongue out at Mucatil and then go over to the Bahir. <laughs> well, that turned interesting. Uh, that one's not. This is this working? working? God! All right. They've got some of these where I'm having to hear myself, and I don't understand why. So, who's going to take second watch and who's taking third? So, so since I think Kaizen's doomed to being nommed, um, I guess I'll just take third watch. <laughs> Balgros we'll is will be taking second watch. Prayers during first. Yeah. So... Mukatil's gonna take third. Is Kaiser gonna take a watch or just gonna be kinda hanging around up here? Uh I'll help with third watch. Okay. Zara and I'll help with the first watch. Just checking so that, like, I don't why. <laughs> so, uh, perception check from Nebmir and Zirin first. Wait for Navmir's roll. I believe I have a plus one. Yes, to perception. All right. It's a quiet watch. You're hearing animals and such, Nemir, though. You see Zarin actually deep in concentration at times listening to this. And as such, he will be rolling a survival check. Which he has advantage on. All right, 17 on that. So you can ask him anything. He's just like, 
It's almost like something's wrong, in a sense. Is never going to say anything to him or? Uh, Nemra will look at him and ask what's up. You're hearing the wildlife, right? Oh. No, this is Zarin talking to you <laughs> now. <laughs> And, sorry, do I hear anything? You hear the animal life, you just don't know exactly what's going on. Uh, he, he'll nod, saying, yeah, I, I hear it. Yeah, well, obviously you're not understanding, but wildlife's coming from the west, heading east. Almost like they're running from stuff. From what? That's a good question. I'm not sure. I just know they're definitely running from something. It's not... Not normal. Doesn't sound it. You know, the thing is, they're supposed to be like demons and all fighting to the west anyway. Maybe that's it. I don't know, though. So, if no other RP happens, second watch will come. Zarin would let Valgrosh know. Have them go in and take their second watch while Namir and Zarin goes to lay down. So we are waiting for Valgrosh to tie and such. Darren would... So, for Valgrosh, sounds like something odd is going on in that direction. I'll keep vigilant. Darren would not just definitely keep an eye on the situation. So, go ahead and roll your perception for your watch. Top rolling it tonight. So, <laughs> maybe it's a dark good night that's helping you hear Valgrosh. You're hearing what Zern was, and you definitely can tell it is moving. They're not coming close to you. It's definitely just keeping a wide berth around your camp. Your camp is in a secure place. 
text is there. And, but for maybe it's how dark it is, luckily for you. You're able to look off to the west and you actually see like, you know how you can see fire, like the shine off the clouds or the smoke from it. You, you, that sort of thing. That is what you're seeing. Throughout your watch, it's just maybe brightens at points, but fades a bit. It's not, doesn't seem to be getting closer. It's just, it's in a distance. Uh, quite a distance. It could be as far as the, as the village that you're trying to head to type deal. But nothing else is happening on your watch with this. Yes. <laughs> it was Kaizen Mukato who had third watch. When her watch ends, she go. She's going to point towards the sky in that direction. Fires likely as not a battle of wizards and magics over there near the horizon. Something is lighting up the sky. Balgrosh would tell Kaizen and Mukatil. I don't know what that is, but I really want to check that out. So, I mean, I guess there is a thing called healthy sleeping, so we could let them sleep, or what do you want to do? <laughs> so I'm type of the man of action. I mean, I've already slept, so... <laughs> Besides, we don't have Snakey here, just sitting here as much, you know? <laughs> <laughs> so Valgrosh has already gone and laid down when Mukatil sang this to Kaisa. <laughs> huh? Oh, oh, okay. So here's the problem, right? Th this was like before Valgrosh was uh, like asleep you know so okay well Valgrosh would definitely probably want to get sleep <laughs> well time for rolls I guess let's see this
19. Sorry about the dogs, everyone. I do not know what's gotten into them today. I've been almost fighting a migraine with how much they barked. <sighs> so, yeah, as you two take up watch, Valgar's definitely pointed in the direction. Uh, Mukatil and Kaizen, you both are able to see the... And it looks to be like it's a fire doing this. Now, is it magical? It seems to be more natural. Okay. Cause. I'm just a bodyguard. <laughs> I'd look over to Mucatil and say, you're a good bodyguard, but a Bahir could help us too. I mean, that was an RP, but anyways. Um, <laughs> I guess we'll make it, in the universe that it was RP, which I guess we'll make it this one, I'll just be like, you see, I don't just pick up random animals and be like, oh yeah, you'll be just fine. Oh yeah. No, there's things called trials. There's things called evidence. There's things called, you know... Don't try to constrict my friends and eat them. <laughs> but I wasn't eaten. We made a friend. <laughs> I need more sleep. <laughs> 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 I'll be here, be here real quick while Mukatil is just like hitting his head on a tree, just like <laughs> over and over again, not hitting his horns. <laughs> All right. <laughs> so, yes, with that, you keep an eye on it till morning comes and Everyone's getting up. Long grass. Everyone's healed up. Fully. That does include the Bahir too. <laughs> so. With that, as you are getting up, getting ready to set out as such. One thing I do want to note, as Valgrosh is also a paladin, uh, I put an aura circle on you on the distance for your devotion aura, Valgrosh, but you can change it to whatever color you wish. As long as it doesn't clash with the terrain <laughs> okay so with that as it is morning and you are looking off into the west you do see like cloud of smoke just bellowing up bellowing up yeah <clears throat> So it's definitely like a fire. As such, are you all going to kind of travel at normal speed? You want to try to move at stealth speed with horses? Or you going to want to try fast paces? In other words, try to really push it. <laughs> Since my horse is made out of water, would it be a, uh, would the Bahir allow me to ride it as a mount instead of having a water horse? I'm going to RP that with the Bahirs to see if it will let you. 
I was about to say, you might want to ask that we hear the, that question itself. <laughs> it can speak. So, I would actually look to the Bahir and ask, would it be alright if I rode you uh, instead of the water horse that I create? not able to move on your own this isn't draconic all of this oh yes I can move on my own but to get to where we're going faster I would need a mount do I look like a mount No, you look like a friend. Tilted head to the side looking at you. I don't know. Well, I just thought I would ask. I can still ride my water horse instead if that is what you'd prefer. It kind of nods. <laughs> So yeah, you're able to summon up, you're able to shape up your water horse to ride. No one person on foot is Zirin, as he can move faster, I think. What are horse speeds? I need to check that real quick, because this is interesting and see who's the slowest here. Okay, War Horse is 60 feet. Okay, yeah. So, the Bahir is a bit slower at uh, 50 foot speed. So, next question. This is for the group to decide. Do you want to try to move at just your normal pace going? Do you want to try to push it? Try and get double speed? Or you want to try to stealth then type deal? Oh, I'll say to uh try to push it so I'll just be like oh, I just want to find out whatever the heck that is unless one of you wants to like reassure me that it's nothing bad which guess what my sensors are tingling <laughs> <laughs> 
And that's an expression, by the way. <laughs> mm hmm. Zarin, well, I can't assure anything at the moment. And knowing that there's demons that way, kind of. <sighs> Maybe we should push it. A duck. Okay. <sighs> For the quacks, right? <laughs> yes. <laughs> so, I know Valgros usually has to type their answer, uh, Nemir, Kaizen. I agree on pushing it. Yeah, I say go. Okay. All right, so time ago, everyone's mounted up. That's on mounts. Kind of an order, just so we know. The Bahir will be in the last place, as it is the slowest of all of you. Just so you know. Uh, kind of your marching order as to how you're going in this. With the riding. Well, I would be close to the Bahir. Alright. <laughs> I think Balgrosh and Mukatil will be kind of... Basically about have it how I have it set up right now on the map, except without the mount for three of you. <laughs> Is that about the way y'all see it? Yeah, I can see it that way. Alright. Oh, dude. So, yeah, you take off, even though you have to just keep it just slightly where the Bahir can keep up. Though, Balgras, Mukatil, there may not pay as much attention and keep going ahead a bit. So, yeah, with that, you would do this for a good hour and a half, two hours. You're really covering a lot of ground. Luckily, this is a more well-traveled road, so luckily, you don't have to worry about any sort of uh, getting tripped up or anything like that. Is The roadway's cleared. If you were going straight through the woods, yeah, that would be a different story. Mukatil and Valgrosh. The two, you will be the two up front. Perception checks. Alright. Uh, Ow! Twitch decided to give me a random achievement, so I was like, okay, what is it? Let's see. That Boop. dice is cocked. Reroll that, Valgros. That dice was cocked. Cat. Alright. 24 Mukatil, okay. Okay. <laughs> yeah, beats a one. But, uh, yeah, so. Valgrosh may be taking pains to make sure nothing would trip up mounts or something. So he's, so she's been kind of keeping a lookout on the ground. Mukatel. You start 
hearing first. A language you don't understand. And it's like some laughter involved and all kind of evil sounding in some aspects. Definitely coming from ahead. And the cloud, the smoke has gotten thicker. That it's on the ground, it's hard for you to see forward. Uh, you want to, are you going to share that with the group? Or are you going to slow down? Where are you going to do? I heard a random dice get rolled. And I got distracted. So what exactly happened? All right. Val, Valgrosh is just like making sure mounts aren't going to get tripped up. Keeping an eye on the road. You, with the how the smoke is getting thicker, you hear ahead of you. A language you don't understand. And it's like sometimes evil laughter, male and female. Who the heck are those male and females that are talking a bunch of gibberish and making me angry? Please tell me one of you can hear it. I just want to rip their mouths apart because, yeah. <laughs> I don't like this situation right now. Uh, Nedmir and Kaizen can roll their perceptions. I'm just going to roll mine. This is plus one. Oh, 18. Kaizen's having a problem hearing it if she's not proficient. Same for Nevermere at the moment. Are you slowing down or are you going to keep moving at your pace? I would say slow down. Okay. All right. Now, some people may be thinking, you're not sure. You're thinking, it's Mukatel hearing things, but Zarin's like, I swear that's almost like it's a demon talking. But I'm not sure. I don't speak that crap language at all. It is a crap language. I want to kill things that speak it, typically. Unless it's Clara and her family. <laughs> so with that as you slow down still kind of maybe moving forward by this time you're all starting to hear what Mukatil and Zarin first heard So, whoever speaks the Infernal Demonic Language, aka Nevmir for sure. <laughs> Entice. Uh -oh. Alright. Leave it to the Pandora twins. <laughs> you two would be hearing, like, uh, we're... Should we start burning down this section of the forest yet? As I know that section's burning. Hopefully the smoke will start trying to drive those people back and that stupid whatever she is. Oh, I don't know. What do you say, big man? This is what <laughs> you're hearing. 
There's different voices though, a lot of them. I would let the others know that these people or demons are burning the uh, forest down and looking for somebody. Charges forward. <laughs> <laughs> as soon as they notice me, they're going to hear, uh, we're Freya! <laughs> Okay, since you're going to charge forward, are you getting off your mount to charge forward, or do I need to get a yes. geo horse? All yes. right. So with that, you're charging forward. Oh boy. All right. Well, you know what? I'm just going to take off. Look, because you're going to just charge forward. I'm going to need initiatives. I'm just going to go ahead and take off. Look. Fog of war. So you're just gonna rush right into it. <laughs> uh, seeing seeing Mukatil rush forward, Nevermore would quickly start chasing after as well. So since you did say you're rushing forward, you will get here and see what you're gonna see. I'm placing you where you would have charged forward. Uh Nedmer, you follow as much as possible. Zarin is actually not going to just rush. But, tell as you move forward, you just all of a sudden, you see like this one demon that has like this flaming aura around it. It's already like just standing close to logs, it's caught on fire. You see like four different Succubus back behind him with this big guy. It seems like there might be some off in the forest. You're not fully sure because it's still of the smoke and all. But initiatives, please. <laughs> Let's do it. Thanks for the resub, Sin. So Valgros rolled a 19. Kaizen had a... Okay, look to 18. Nemir at 9. So... Okay. <laughs> And also, with that sin, uh, name a card you want this group to have. Alright, so let me get this in place. Zarin's going first no matter what, since he had a roll crit 20. That kind of puts you in starting position. Easy for him. Then it's going to be... Uh, blue? Uh, does Valgrosh have a bonus, or is it just straight, straight? Oh. Alright, I'm letting Valgrosh go, because you both are straight, God.
All right. So then. All right, so it's me followed by one of them, followed by another. I'm going to do a perception first. The huge one? Uh, all right, one moment. 60 foot, exactly. Going straight line. Uh, I'm going to roll a perception to see if he can see. Because. Sorry to say, he already sees a problem with the one that has its fire around him. And okay. Yeah, he definitely sees them all. I'm wasting all my good rolls, so. He can get to them. Yeah, that's the one he's going to go after. <clears throat> so, he will move his way. I will do an acrobatics check. That's probably where I'm going to fail. Wait for what? Uh, to do like a couple of flips over logs and such, going after this one up there that he's going to. Uh, okay. But I think that's not a problem for him. <laughs> I mean, with a plus 20. <laughs> yeah, it's kind of like I got to roll a one for it to not work. <laughs> he's an expert in uh, acrobatics. So, he'll go ahead and do his two hits on the guy. Uh, Pretty much there, Valgrosh. <laughs> Just about, yeah. 20 plus 14. For the first roll, we'll see what he does. Oh, trust me, that's going to hit him. Let's see if a second one will. Well. 
And make sure you do a long rest. I forgot to do that. Uh, Sin is asking how far away they are from the village. Oh, well, how far away we are. Half a day. And Atreya will not be able to come and see us, so don't even think that. <laughs> Atreya's got her own problems. <laughs> Well, that's a bit rude. Hmm? Well, wouldn't do it. Well, as I'm saying, she's got her own problems. <laughs> and that's the thing. Treya does. She definitely has her own problems right now. <laughs> I know. That's that's why. I, thing is, you're having to deal with the smoke too. As they, this is like the burn crew that's trying to burn the forest around the village down. So, uh, both of those will hit. Uh, I will do one key point for Furious Strike, so two more attacks about to come in. And then I'll roll all the damage together. All right. Yeah, they're all hit. Uh, and we will try to stun strike them. For another key point. So we'll see if he succeeds on his con. He said he is good on con. That one. Of course. I feel like I'm wasting those points at time, so... He does 47 points of damage to that demon. Even though it might not seem as much. It's like he... He's resistant to some of it. So... Next one up, she'll kind of step out to look around this tree at this. Kind of tilt her head to the side at y'all. And since Mukatil is in the front, this is going to be aimed at him at the moment. She lets out three bluish rays off at you, Lucatil. Uh, I know two of those aren't going to hit, but the 19 plus hers will, I take it. Yep. All right. So, you're able to dodge like three of these, or two of those shots at you. It's like some sort of magic, but third one hits you. And you'll take, uh, damn ones. Uh, eight points of damage. 
and you feel like a hard chill from it. This is cold damage type. And with that, she will actually move back to here and end her turn there. Valgrosh, it is your turn. Um, I'll be back in just a minute. Okay. Uh, and thank you for the bits. <laughs> In. Okay. Saving throw for one. Okay. And do two. You did over three hundred bits. I'll give him another combat card. So, seeing what Balgrosh is going to do here. You can move around Nevmir. It's not that hard to. I'm back. Sorry about that. All right. Uh, obviously, with some DM's discretion, I believe you'd be able to move through my space. Technically, yeah. Around Namir is not going to be a problem. And what demon were you going after again? Okay. Okay. Yeah, you can definitely do that. Uh, just note it does have a fire aura.
All right, bonus action branding smite, okay. They've kind of taken out all the charge mechanics in 5th edition, it seems. Mm -hmm. So, it's just a attack as you go up to it. What I will allow, though, because I... <laughs> but what I'm going to do for a homebrew, because I'm sorry, if you're charging someone to give you a bit of an advantage or something... Make it at an advantage. Depending on your animal handling check, though, first. Sorry to say, you're rushing right into fire. Now, I know you're on a war horse, so that lowers the DC, but is the horse going to run into fire? <laughs> so, animal handling check first. Well, luckily for you, that was the DC I set. It would have been a 14 for regular horses, which no one's not going to do that. So you got lucky there. So the horse will go in there. And you can make your attack with the vantage for your first attack. You might. All right. Uh, go ahead and roll the other one. You might crit, and crit is more damage. <laughs> All right. You hit. Roll your damages. And do I not able to move? Let me see here. So basically, you've done this. So, uh, yeah, roll your physical, radiant, all that fun jazz. It's, you're probably using your spear. Alright. Eight physical damage. Alright, yeah, that one doesn't have resistances, luckily. Radiant from Spear, alright. Nice. Hit. Nice hit. Alright. And. Yeah. Your smite. <laughs> yeah. So eight. Okay, that's twenty five. All right. Hey, so yeah, this first hit, as you come in, horse riding in, you hit the steaming. 
Yeah, that was your first attack. Normal roll for your second attack. Any charge will be with advantage, I will say, when you're charging. Uh, that will hit. So roll your damages for your second attack. Are you doing anything else on your turn? Well then, at the end of your turn... I need you to make a deck save for you and your mount. If I need to, I'll look up your mount stats again. I had it up. I should have left them up. Knowing that this was going to be a thing. All right, 17. And now your war horse would be a plus one. So plus three because it's in your aura. <laughs> All right. Uh, technically, your war horse has 33 hit points. So you know. You succeeded. <sighs> Wars did it. God dang it, the ones. Well, I'm rolling poorly for them, so that's great for all you. <laughs> Ten. Eighteen points of fire damage. You are not taking half of that, Balgrosh. The Warhorse takes all of it. And just to kind of let you know, if you stay in that fire aura, at the end of each of your turns, you will have to do that deck save. <laughs> so, next one up. Uh, big guy's taking three swings at Zeran. That Zeran attacked. Make sure what Zarin's AC is. Alright, yeah. Good thing I checked. Kobe's is higher. <laughs> oh, crap, one hit and it's a critical. Uh, 
Off of that one critical, he takes 28 points of damage. So, you see that demon up there just take this gruesome bastard great sword that Kilgara might have loved, but <laughs> and just swung this at Zarin. First two, Zarin's able to be moving out of the way, but that third one kind of hits him right into the side, and you can just tell this was a really hard hit right there. They're actually going to just hold. Mukatil, your turn. Well, I don't really like what's happening right now because on one end, I could get roasted and then have lasers shot at me with ice. Or I could have lasers shot at me with ice and watch Zarin get critted on because, you know, that probably didn't look very good for him. Um, with that one hit, I would imagine. So, let's see. I decide, because we have two spellcasters, you know, one healer, cleric, and one warlock. Well, hopefully, they could, without damaging us, take care of the one with the fire. And I'm hoping for the best for the mount and for our uh, paladin. Because, yeah, I don't really want to stand in fire. It's just... Just not good. So, yeah. <laughs> so, I'm just walking. I'm looking real pissed at the big boy that has to hide behind fire and stuff. And I just come up and I'm like, you demons think you can get away with burning anything you want to and just messing around with anybody you choose. Well, you picked the wrong crowd. And you, big boy, have something that doesn't belong to you. And I want to take that sword and I'm going to give it to someone that deserves it. You don't deserve nothing. <laughs> basically, what I mean by that is he should be, Kilgar should be having that sword. <laughs> okay. I mean by that. Yep. So, attack o time. Let's see. Let's see. It's plus 12. Boop, boop, boop. That hits. Good stuff. Basically, I recommend don't roll five or lower. All right. Thank you. Second one action. hits. Action, action surge. surge. Okay. Yeah. Because I, I want because of how many people are there, I just want this idiot done and over with. See. All right. Is that a crit for you? Isn't it something like with the champion or something? Because I'm a champion fighter. Is it 19? I I'm, I'm think so. To... I think the champion is the one that gets the... That. Okay. I'm thinking so. Let me check. Make sure. I'll roll out the damage for these three then. Uh, well, you got one more attack to make. So, uh. Oh, I I know. Let's see. All right, so all four of them hit. Uh, Improve critical. You do your old crits at nineteen. So we Yay. have a critical hit from you. Yay, thank you for helping me remember that. Oh, uh, this is going to be some sweet damage coming out here. <laughs> mm hmm So, uh... This is all the slashing. Alright, so 16 and 17. Okay. All right. 
And then now this is the radiant. All right. 2d12. So uh, that's d12. So a full 12 on top of that. Okay. So d God, 23 on that one. Okay. And then... Did I miss one of your uh, radiant rolls? Or... Oh, no, there it is. Okay. Yep. And now we're moving into the necrotic. <laughs> Flagging, let's see. Um... Mooka Tail broke it. <laughs> right. <laughs> Max out oh. on that necrotic. Oh, yeah. This is. I may have to pull the calculator out on all this. <laughs> He's moving. Right. He's. He basically is resistant to bludgeoning damage, but not slashing. Yeah. So, who? Yep, time pull up the calculator. And of course, the third one was the one that uh, got the champion crit. I, yeah, so it's 12, 24, and 12 for that one. Yeah. Okay, question. Would you yes. adding your yeah, you was adding your plus eights to all that, okay. Yeah. Let me make sure, okay. So for all the slashing damage, that was seventy three. <laughs> slashing alone. Now the radiant. Seventy nine points of radiant, which is actually more than that. Oh boy. I I I think you may either be close or kill this guy in one crit. All I mean with all four hitting like that and with that crit. 47 points of necrotic damage. <laughs> so, okay. Oh, now I see where improved critical is. Cool! <laughs> How are you going to do this? <laughs> 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 Give slash us uh, his, his arms like trying to fall off. <laughs> Me, <laughs> it's the other arm. He's like ah, <laughs> that boom. <laughs> it's his torso probably has a big old chunk missing out of it. <laughs> that sword, boom, and I nail his head off. It goes flying. <laughs> and then if you want for flavor, I could take his sword just. Put it out my back. <laughs> no, it doesn't have to be that way. It's fine. So, yeah, you just come in there. As Zarin has just taken that hit from him, as you said, you should start lobbing limbs off of this guy with your axe. The radiant really damaging him. Technically, with the extra radiant damage that has added on, you did 240 points of damage what the hell <laughs> total 
hey, this is the power of fighters right here. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Ooh, that's a good old intern. <laughs> if I see any. Uh. Yeah, and then, yeah. Just for even the flavor, you can go ahead and take that bastard sword that was still gripped in his hand, so his arms are cut off. Just shake them off, and you can put it on your back if you want to. All right, thank you very much. I'll be here, be real quick. Let me know if I take any damage. <laughs> wow. Bang. <laughs> That's a highlight of the night. Dang, I love that. Luka Till living up to the name right now as champion of Kataria. So, next up. Hey, you want to see some damage? <laughs> All right. I've got a few things I've got to roll, but I am making two roll attacks to Valgrosh. Oh, the fire demon. Yep. Also, dragon. Yes. I once again forgot the fiendish resilience, so I'm going to go with lightning again. Okay, yeah, we got to remember <laughs> that. <laughs> yeah, okay, lightning. All right. That's fine. I kind of wish there was a prompt on D&D &D Beyond where whenever you take a long rest, it's like, being resilience, what do you want to pick? And then you pick from there. Yeah, that kind of be nice. Uh, that might, due to the fact they are still working on some of their stuff, because when they get a tabletop like this, it might be interesting. So, that call attack will miss but uh 20 hit you Balgrosh I'll look real oh yeah okay so first off it's the slashing damage That's work. Okay. Uh. Nine points of slashing damage. And. Eight points of fire damage <laughs> from them on that attack. Because the aura does not activate except at the end of your turn to hurt you. But at the end of his turn, is there fire spreading? Oh, yeah. Fire spreading. And that was enough for, uh, yeah. Wind picks up. And let's see here. How is this going to go? Is it going to hit? No, okay, so it's just going to be perfect, so, okay. Uh, copy. Paste. 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 No, set. one more set. All right. I love how I can just 
copy and do that. So, wind kind of picks up, fire spreading out into the woods here. Mm, familiar tune. <laughs> yeah. Hello. Oh, hi there. So, that's his turn. Now it's this guy's turn. He'll move up. Thing is, this one just raises up his hand and actually looks at the fire demon. And uh, it looks like he's getting healed. Oh boy. Yeah. Nice. Is that an ability or a spell? It is a spell. He is casting a spell. In fact, it probably would look a little bit familiar due to Kaisen. But obviously the healing is fire-based or something. Uh, or just healing energy. Who says demons don't have clerics? <laughs> There's evil um, clerics. <laughs> is it? Does it look like a high, like a higher powered heal spell? Or do you want me to roll an arcana? You have to roll arcana to know exactly the. See, to get an idea, I mean. Yeah. Um, would I have any bonuses because we have a cleric in our party? I'll give you an extra plus two just because of that. Because you're not a cleric yourself. You're a warlock. No. But due to you do have a cleric in your group, I'll give you an extra plus two to this roll. Okay. Twenty-one. It's definitely at the same level that your own cleric cast out. That's about all you know for sure. You're not sure if it's at the top of her level or at the bottom of her level, but it's no higher than what she could cast out. And you got a feeling this isn't his main spell that like he can cast. need all the advantages we, we can get. And just oh, doesn't to... count. I was just trying to give you all the. And you feel like this isn't his main spell. This is just like a sort of like. Your bonus uh, action. So 
So are you wanting to stop this one or can I go on with the turn? I, again, my internet was glitching. So what I know that he, that this spell was what? To this guy that he could cast it more than once or what that it's like a easy spell for him to cast can you hear me yes i can hear you now can you hear me yes all right hopefully my internet remains stable uh this spell is like a all right, it's a bonus action spell that he's casting on the guy at a distance. Hmm. Oh, right. And all all of the bigger healing spells have to be touched. Yeah. And he's so doing this from a distance. Yeah. So it's More probably not that much. So I'm not going to counter it. Okay, not countering it? Fine. <laughs> I can tell you right now... It was a. You could have countered it easily at your level, I think, because you got, what, fifth level? Fifth level. Yeah. Fifth level. Guaranteed. He was doing a third level only, so <laughs> it's no biggie. Yeah, from what I can remember, all the. All the higher level healing. Like, better healing spells require touch. Yeah. Most they, of the time. Most of the time. Yeah. <laughs> All right. After that, he is going to look at. Who does he feel is. He's going to look at Mukatil. After seeing <laughs> what happened. Uh -huh. Just as you get back. And he's casting a spell on you that you will have to make a wisdom save. Um, I... No. <laughs> <laughs> Never says no. Counter spell. This is a six level cast. Okay, so I have to roll. Yeah. This is his only six level he can cast, so... so. <laughs> Damn it. <laughs> so wait on that wisdom save, Mukatil. Yep. <laughs> it's in the rolling. Uh, I'm using my spell casting modifier, so it's plus four. Is it modifier or bonus? Uh, spell casting ability. Ability. Yeah, it's more modifier. Mm-hmm. Yes. Let's go. It's All right. Weird. So, yeah. This demon's looking at you. And you start feeling like something's trying to touch you, Mukatil. But yet, you feel it like it's coming and going. And you look over and you see Namir just mm -hmm. has finally countered. And you just see him look right straight at you now, Namir. Like, okay. I, 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 look at, I look straight back at the demon, point at him, and yell, no. <laughs> so I understand that he tried to do something funky to me. Yeah. All right. I'll point at him and be like, you're next, boy. <laughs> Don't you dare try to mess with my boy and his spell whatevers. All right. I don't know if I necessarily know they're called spell slots, so I won't call them spell whatever. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. So, yeah, got countered. That was whole person is what I was going to do to you. Paralyze you. <laughs> oh, nice. <laughs> oh, boy. Yeah. That's six level, too, so, hey. Yeah. So, with that, Kaisi, it's your turn. Did and we, we control the beer. 
Yes, I know. Uh, I do have a question about the fire. Um, since I have a water horse, could I have it go and put some of the fire out? Like run into the fire and burst? Yeah, basically. Yeah, you can do that. From your... Uh, no, one thing is, let me see how far you are away from it. At your current location. Because your water horse would have the same speed as a regular horse. Yeah, you can put out... Uh, okay. You can put out most of it except for like one right next to the guy. But most of it you can put out. Uh, due to it is a large animal. You will be able to maybe do four squares maybe. Okay, so I would have my water horse go and put out the fires, uh, at least the ones that it can. And then I would move closer to Nevmir and uh, cast a uh, shield of faith on him. Do your movement. Uh, so shield of faith is going on you, Nevmir, as she has sent her water horse to put out fire and probably not going to have the water horse afterwards. So, uh, Roll me a D8. Kaizen. Okay. Beautiful. So yeah, Kaizen, you sent your water horse in, and usually it would have only done four spots normally, but this fire's not that hot yet, so it was able to take out six of the spots. I will delete these all because... So, yeah, but as I stated, there's no water left from that water horse. It's gone at the moment. But you put out that fire. Uh, Shield of Faith is a bonus spell, or is it a main action spell? I believe Shield of Faith is a bonus. Yes, that's a bonus action. What are you planning to do for your main action? Uh, right now, our monk is, I believe, is the only one that's actually... Uh, um, him and Valgrosh are the only ones that are hurt. And Valgrosh is war horse. Yes. Now, I'm going to tell you right now, Zarin's still really healthy. If I was... If I was you, I would actually look at the war horse more than anything. <laughs> Especially since it's fire and in, in, in it fire. Yep. So if I cast Bless, could I do that on the horse as well? Uh, does it say creatures? It says up to three creatures of your choice. Three creatures of your choice, depending on what level it is, because the higher level, the more you can choose. And yes, you can put it on the horse. So, I'd like to cast Bless at second level on Valgrosh, her uh, war horse, and uh, Mucatil if I can see him. 
you can see Mocha Tail due to the fact your water horse did what it did. You will be able to see Mocha Tail. Woo. And who else? That is three. Oh, wait a minute. Uh, before you do this, that is also a concentration spell. And she'll fade this concentration. Bless is a concentration? Bless is a concentration. It has a C on it. I just looked huh. at mine. So I take it that would be bad to do both of them. Uh, you, can't do, you can't do two concentration spells at the same yeah, time. Yeah, the one would have to be dropped. You can only concentrate on one spell. So, depending on which one you want to really have up is the thing. Okay, I want the one on Nev Mirror to stay up, so I guess I'll hold off on Bless. Yeah, okay, holding off on Bless. I'm just going to throw it out there. Maybe uh, using a healing word. Well, that's a... You can still do a bonus action on an action. I, I, I will tell you that. You can do that. And that way you don't have to get up and get in the fire or anything. Maybe using a healing word on the horse to help its health. <laughs> okay, I didn't know I could do another bonus action for that. Yeah. Yeah, you can do two bonus actions. <laughs> Spells like that. One on your action, one on your bonus action. I do allow that. So yeah, let's go with healing word at second level on the horse. Alright, roll your healing on that. Reroll the one. I do not allow ones for any heal, so you can reroll the one. Okay, so, uh, six, seven, eight. Okay. The horse heals eight points, Belgrosh. <laughs> okay, I mean, just at, uh, what, 23? I understood that, yeah. Since it took 18. <laughs> yeah. So. I think that would be your turn. Well, what are you doing with the Bahir? Or what are you going to ask the Bahir to do? <laughs> I'm going to look at the Bahir and ask him if he's hungry and wanting to join in on the fight. It tilt, he tilts his head. I am hungry. And you did promise demon and there's demon. But which one? Plus a big one. <laughs> Are you is stating that out too? To the Bahir, yes. Can't swallow a big one. Or I'll get one of the smaller ones to tie me till we can kill it. <laughs> it cannot swallow that big guy. <laughs> So, 
Which way is it going to go? And remember, it only has 50 foot movements. But at the same time, it also has a lightning breath. It does have lightning breath. Oh boy. Talk about an interesting line that they could hit. <laughs> Three for one? Yeah. This is what I see. And that's what I was thinking. All right, so you... All right, let me see. All right, we're going to let it move 50 foot. It's going to come this way. Yeah, it can get to about there. All right. Oh. <laughs> You may want to change control of the ear. Because I, I can control it. Yeah. I kind of have you, her, able to control it as well at some point. So, you know. Okay. So, yeah. So, you want it to do lightning breath. <laughs> uh, yes. All right. All right. Okay. So, of course, today I can't make a saving throw to save my life. <laughs> I don't think you should put it quite that way. <laughs> so, uh, roll twelve d tens. Rolling. That's a mess of dice. Yeah. One is got resistance to lightning, though, so it's still only going to take half. I can't get half of half. God. <laughs> you can't be steel. <laughs> <sighs> Ooh, not bad. Yeah. All right, so 80. Oh, hoo, hoo, okay. Yeah. Okay, that's, yeah. Yeah, she was holding out for a moment, but. Have, that's what, 43? 44. I, I rounded up, 44. Oh, you. Oh, you add instead of drop. Okay, 44. Yeah, I'll add or subtract, depending on who it is. Because, you know, if it's the players, I kind of go below lower. If it's NPCs that's getting hit, I'll go up higher. Make things interesting. So that one got hit. Okay, that one's only taking 44. Those four have a contingency. They will just have to get together. Ooh. Yeah. You know what? We're going to see if someone is going to get hit or not because he is. Uh, he is actually slightly larger than large, but he's not huge like the here. Even or odd, and it, since this is on your turn, Kaizen, you, you're calling it. Even. All right. If it hits even on this D6, he's getting hit. If it's odd, he doesn't. Oh, well. So, he's not getting hit. Let's try. <sighs> yeah. Dice have stated it. Okay. 
Anything else? No, that will be my turn. All right. What is she going to do? The other two are at... Yeah, okay. And this is a talented ability, mm -hmm. so Nightmare cannot technically even counter it if he wanted to. Uh, correct. I can only counter spells. Yeah, so... I'm going to ping the one. That one right there. That I'm pinging. It's their, her turn. If you'll notice with these uh, succubus, there's like a your colored dot in their corner. Yep. And that one's a green one. She is actually grabbing hold of one next to her. And it looks like they phase right into the ground. This is a ability of hers. It's not technically spells. And it's going to travel... Oh, Theory. Over here. <laughs> With her other one. Getting them together. And we'll actually call down to the other one. I think we should report back to the Lord about what we are seeing here. Uh, question. Okay. Can I roll Arcana or History to know what they are? Because obviously being able to travel through the ground is not a natural succubus ability. Either one. Take your pick. Uh, I'll tell you right now, history will be a higher DC than Arcana. I'm going to roll Arcana. Alright. They're both the same bonuses. Yeah. <laughs> nope. Not today. You're, you're not sure what... You know they're not... They look not like succubus. Succubi. They're definitely not natural succubi, but yeah... You just saw one take one and go right, like, underground and come up over on the other side with the other one. But that's about it. That will be her turn. Thing is, it's a rate. She has an action rate, but she does not. I didn't ready movement, right, so yeah, she's not gonna be able to move up there at the moment. All right, Nemir, it's your turn. Okay. Um. Can I still see them? Oh, uh. Let me see here at your angle. Hmm. I know you won't be able to see her. You're not going to be able to see her. But I know the big guy's there. Yeah, you and know. Can see... You can see the big guy and you can still see, can see him. He's flat in the middle of the road. So I can see these two. Yeah, you can. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I can... You can see that can one, maybe. Go. That one is a maybe. And why I say baby is because of a fire that's right there. You will need to yeah. roll perception to see if you can see them through the fire. But that one is behind a tree. You're not seeing that behind a tree, per se. 
They actually went behind the tree, so you have no clear line of sight. <laughs> Okay. Yeah. <laughs> oh. There we go. Oh, so you see yeah. all, if that was your perception. <laughs> that was my perception. Yeah, you yep. can see exactly where that other one's at. Okay. Uh, and technically, you can still maybe see a bit of one that has not done any action. They were holding their actions for some reason as to what they might do. So I can see these two. Uh, no, you cannot see the blue one. You can I see, see the blue one. I can see that one. You can see that one, and you can see these. Yeah, that one. Those are the only two of the four you can see at the moment. Can I see this space here? I mean, technically, yeah. <laughs> I mean, with that, 20, yes. Okay. Good. <laughs> I am going to cast a flame strike on that spot. Flame strike, okay. Uh, it calls down a vertical column of divine fire on that spot. It's a 10 foot radius, uh, 40 foot high cylinder. So it's hitting everything in a 10 foot cylinder. So each of them, each creature within that 10 foot cylinder needs to make a dexterity saving throw. Okay, that is a fire spell, not a. It does fire damage and radiant damage. All right. Do I ignore the fire damage roll? All right. I wish sometimes they would put all the damage types on the spell face value on your sheets instead of just the fire one. That's why I was looking. Uh, no, technically, go ahead and roll the fire. Because, uh, well, let me look here. Sure. Thank you. Thank you. Mm, that one's going to be resistant. That one's immune. That one's resistant. Go ahead and roll your fire. But I can tell you, two of them are immune. They're not going to take any damage from it. I'm guessing the big guy, the big guy in one of the fire, fire ones. Okay, the two red ones. They didn't have a color for one I wanted, so. <laughs> Yeah, one of those are not technically red. Should be kind of like a white. <laughs> so, 13 points of fire damage, okay. Uh, save, save. Uh, if DC is 16. Okay, then all, all, all the ones I was rolling for saved. Okay, good, 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 good. And that is for Radiant. Alright, and that's the Radiant. Okay. Alright, let me roll for the other two just to see about the Radiant part of it. Uh, saved and saved. Um, okay. Because mm. <laughs> two of them were immune to fire. Yeah, two of them were immune to fire. So they're only taking half the radiance, which is seven. Now, uh, it's radiance. Or double for some. <laughs> or doubled if any of them have. Yeah, actually, 
one of them might be taking double a half, so they're taking 14 oh. either way. <laughs> Never, you know, that's a possibility. <laughs> and then, uh, give me yeah. one moment. I gotta look at one of them. They may actually have immunity to. Oh, okay, cool. <laughs> Wait, I love how I do that and forget about one of them. Okay. So. Let's see. Kind of give you an idea. You no, know, you're not going to see him. I, I'm going to go ahead because you did roll so high. Uh, this one here. She takes like half the fire damage, which was uh, seven points. But it seems like the Radiant didn't even bother her. Oh, great. <laughs> Interesting, huh? That's a word for it. <laughs> I love making some of these special ones. Uh, you can't tell what's going on with the blue one, per se. As I say, that was one that was the hardest to see. She did take some damage. I will state that. Uh... That one definitely took damage. Basic. And that one took. Okay. I am going to use my movement and bonus to summon my spear. All right. And that's my turn. All right. So you summon your spear. Mm -hmm. It's in hand. And uh, I think it's time that we get up, take a break and all. And then when we come back, we'll start with the big guy's turn. <laughs> that someone decided to uh, put a target on them when they hit them. <laughs> so we'll be right back, everyone, and see what happens with this.
Alright everyone, we're coming back live, and I know some questions have been asked, I will try to help answer that in more detail. But remember, we are raising money for Able Gamers this month. Or for the last day anyway. And then we'll be doing something else come Friday. But, uh, with the pet situation, Sam, uh, I'm a little more open for them to have... <laughs> pets be able to attack and such. Uh, you've, you definitely have seen that on Monday night. I mean, we actually have a paladin now with a mount that can fight, per se, being Celiana. Most, yep. A lot of DMs would not have allowed that. I did for story purposes alone. <laughs> uh, Rangers... I always believe they should always have an animal companion with them because that's the way it's always been in the past. Supposedly they've, they've kind of fixed Beastmaster once now. So, definitely on that. Uh, Archer, uh, depending, we'll talk some point in Discord about a one shot or doing something to have you join. It seems like you're really enjoying my style. So. Yeah, we'll talk at some point. So, back to the action. <laughs> As Nimir had done this flame strike and has summoned his sphere now. Uh, and yes, Elaine. Now it comes to one that rolled the worst of all of them, but it's probably the most powerful next to maybe the other four. Yeah. Turn. Five, ten, fifteen, twenty. Yeah, he'll come on up here. Fire's not going to bother him one bit. He has... Hmm. I didn't think about using any of his legendary abilities this whole time. Now, as he walks up, you see this... I mean, you saw Mukatil with his axe. He's kind of like carrying the same size axe that he is, but it's like a one-handed axe in one hand. And he's got a mace in the other one. And he's got two attacks with the axe, one with the mace. Coming at you, Valgrosh. Oh, over me. Oh. Yeah, he's going to go ahead and attack you as you. You're the first one that he's going to have to come in contact with. He could have gone up to Mukatil, but it's like, eh. He doesn't like holy people at all. So, yeah. <laughs> uh, 21, 20, 19. Well. <laughs> all three, huh? All three. Remember, my AC is 18. Yeah. So. Roll two of these. Custom Mace is not. Dead Axe. 21. 20s. 26 points of slashing. Hey, fine. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And then the mace is... Where is it? God! I need to stop rolling these damages like this against you. Fourteen points of bludgeoning slash piercing. 
from the mace. Jeez. Okay. I, I max rolled that, and it was a D8 for that weapon's attack. He is going to inspire on a bonus action. As he's not worried about those four, it's like you could care less. He's going to actually inspire his, the cleric one. <laughs> Which is the one behind him, I think. Yep. Yeah. Uh, demonic speech. You know, we will destroy these cretins that wish to come against us. All that fun jazz. <laughs> All right. Top of the turn. It is Zarek's. Seeing how Valgrosh is getting kind of hounded. Destroyed? <laughs> Probably destroyed would be the word, I guess. Uh, Alright. He's going to try another acrobatics with the assistance of Mukatil, if Mukatil will, is willing. Um, Talk to me real brief. <laughs> Zarin's gonna look at you. Give me a lift up. I need to get up high in there. All right, I'll give you a nod and boop. There we go. I'm good at this. <laughs> yeah, so you just reach down, raise him up, and he's actually flipping up and he's gonna try to be landing behind. Uh, all right, acrobatics is gonna to totally tell on this because where he's trying to flip to. Just. Yeet the guy into the air. <laughs> Yeet. This is where he's going. This is where he wants to go. Now is he going to make it? <laughs> yeah. Now I roll that since that happened. You know how much I like yeeting things. <gasps> Home run to flip it! <laughs> 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 Bit more in Mookie Jill's accent, but still. <laughs> okay. That will actually work because I did put up. 28 DC for that, so. Bam! <laughs> so you all just see him kind of flip, kind of twist, and come right down behind him, and he's going to attack. Which gives him advantage, and gives someone else advantage at some point. <laughs> Woo! So... Fourteen. It's this attack. So first attack. He's got to land one. So. Jeez. That barely hit him. The five barely hit him. And I mean barely. A five and a two. <gasps> so first one hits. Key point. He is going to do. Uh, Furry of Blows. He's going to do more more damage out. He's got to. In fact, he is going to do something else. If his Furry of... Wait a minute. Do I have to have Furry of Blows for that to work? Some people may know what I'm talking about here. Just to kind of help. Oh, it's an unarmed strike. I have to use three key points for it. No, this is on a con save. Who knows, this could be the first <laughs> first actual stun. I'm actually looking at Quivering Paul. <laughs> oh. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, if you can get it... <laughs> Oh, I'm 
got it. I mean, that's the thing. I've got no, the... If, if, if you can get it. Like, if you can... I've hit him. All I have to hit him with with the unarmed strike, and I can do it. Uh, I am going to do furry blows, though. But I am going to do that, too. So, that's going to be four points away from me on this round. I'll roll the DC, see if it's even going to work. I don't really want to look at this. Oh, my God. <laughs> Did you get it? He wrote a fourteen. My DC's a fifteen. <laughs> <laughs> well, uh oh. Does he get a bonus to it? <clears throat> That was a 14 total. That was 14 total. <laughs> oh. So he was one off. Yeah, he was one off on the roll. So. Uh -oh. Could I give him one of my advantage tokens? Wait, doesn't he still have Bless? Uh. Wait a minute. You want to give someone an advantage token that's evil? This is the demon we are talking about. <laughs> oh, I knew you were Pandora. <laughs> sorry, sorry. I thought the yeah, context, context jumped gears a bit there. <laughs> yeah, I thought I thought the. No, we're still was talking about our about our ally, thing. not not uh, the guy who's about to get turned into goop. So I'm adding a key point back because Furry Blows isn't going to go off. Because it saved. And you are also talking to Kaizen tonight. <laughs> Other Pandora twin! What is Kaizen? Is Kaizen wanting him? To <laughs> no. I would hope not. <laughs> no. <laughs> so no, we're all good. The demon was the one rolling the con save. Okay. Yeah. It seemed a few of us were thinking the dragonborn, the monk was the one rolling the the con save. No, 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 no. And why am I doing that? So, yeah. To finish out this turn with just from this one here. So, Valgros, you see Zeran just kind of flip all the way back behind this guy. And it's like, you are feeling like you're in deep trouble. And you just see Zeran take one hit into him. And then as such, then he like closes his eyes. And you just see this demon like, vessels are popping inside him. As such, all throughout his body, as he falls down dead. <laughs> Never is gonna. <laughs> Didn't quite explode, but that was bad enough. Never is gonna look to the demon cleric. And then just call out in demonic. How do you like us now? <laughs> Appropriate. <laughs> so, as someone does have it raided, but someone else can pull this, good old Blue up here is going to grab a hold of her says, pulls her up next to others, and it's like, get us out of here now. So, that one that has had this action readied, and hasn't come to her turn yet again, you start seeing like a wind tornado happen, as they just go straight up into the air. Yeah, so they're leaving. 
while they hear chickens <laughs> from me. That's appropriate. <laughs> Never is going to call out in the same thing in Mukatil's voice, but in also <laughs> but in <a> mind. <laughs> so you hear it in stereo. Roll a perception, Mukatil. All right. No. Nope. Nope. <laughs> oh, well. Nemir, you got a higher DC on this, but you can still make it. Do a perception roll. Valgrosh can do one. Zarin can do one. This is what's going to be the craziest thing. I got a 13. You're not going nope. to. Nope, <laughs> you're distracted. You're spinning your helmet around. Do -do -do -do. No, I'm, you... I'm basically having one third of my health, half of the fucking area on fire, and this motherfucker burning me and my horse. I'm sorry. A little distracted. <laughs> yeah, so just to let you know, your turn is coming up. But um... let's see how Zarin does. That's a natural 20. <laughs> that roll? No. You forgot the deed. You, you, you actually one. okay. You actually got twenty one. It's fine. Math. You actually got twenty one. It's fine. <laughs> no, it didn't roll a dice. <laughs> Let's be fair here. Oh. Bump, bump, bump. As they are okay. Because they kind of go past. Me. Well, he is one of my perceptions. <laughs> hey. I'm trying to set. No, actually, uh, Mukatil would not have been able to hear it. He needed a 10 as well. Utu Zeron was a bit closer as how they're going because they're going straight south, all four of them. In this kind of deal in the arc. Uh, well, Zara will tell you afterwards because it's strange at the name that he heard. So, as to who they're working for. So, right um, now, um, yeah. Basically, with how much movement that's going to be. They're going to be kind of like that way. You can basically forget about them because they're going to be long gone before you can get to them. Belgrosh, it's your turn. <laughs> All right. Um, debating. How banged up does this demon look? That's catching the world on fire here. Mm, healthy? Uh, I mean, he definitely got a little bit of a heel. I mean, he's he's kind of healthy. Uh, even though, if like, if Mooka Till did, like, what he did to the other one, he'd be dead. <laughs> 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 so, all right. Means that I know what I'm doing for my action, and I have to take my action and heal unless I want to die right here. And that's a it's a full action to use lay on hands. Yeah, it is. I hate that about lay on hands. I've thought about like if you're only using like five points or something to do I'm away. Not. With I'm using fifty. <laughs> yeah. Um, which will leave me looking healthier, but uh, that'll be that's unless I I can't do an attack action the same turn. So yeah, well, I mean, unless someone wants to let you have a card, I mean, you do. You all have two combat cards. One got 
kind of tonight from sin as he did do a 300 bit cheer and then he get also gave you all a save card so you have two save cards two combat a luck opponent and divine intervention Mm -hmm. So, and so I do have the bonus action. I'm going to prepare Branding Smite at uh, second level. All right, Branding Smite is already rated at second level. Okay. So, and you're ending your turn. I'll wait for my next action. Yeah, and I got to I got to make two deck saves. <laughs> yeah. Unless Me. Not so lucky. <laughs> Unless the group decides to use one of the save cards. My uh, horse has a higher dex save than I do. Probably good it did. It's 12 for me, 14 for horse. Yeah. Just out of curiosity to the group. Do you want him using one of the save cards and just get an automatic save here? <laughs> I say yes. I mean, we have two, so. All right, it's automatic save for you, then. <laughs> okay. Yeah, the combat card, the different cards I have set up for you all to use. Yeah, Let, let's use a save because I don't want the horse dying. <laughs> Come uh, on, yeah. I don't want the horse to die. And I have a way more hit points than the horse does. As last I checked, it was at 23. 10. Oh, God. 21. You and the horse are taking 13 points of damage. Okay. So, all right. So, that means the horse is down to 10. I'm down to 71. Yeah. All right. So it's now Mukatil's turn. <laughs> Good. Let's see. I mean, you have direct line of sight on at least two enemies there. <sighs> Freaking chickens. It looks over to what you've done. I'm just like, I didn't even slash him once and he's dead. <laughs> <laughs> And so I see a fire boy still up, and I'm like, Do you know how much I despise people burning forests? Especially with one of my friends being a druid. You know how much I wanted to arm wrestle somebody? Well, guess what? I can't do that if you make them a fiery kebab! <laughs> <laughs> so I go over to him in the fire circle, and here we go! It's like, oh, hi! <laughs> <laughs> uh, I mean, you're going to be. Mokotil's going to look like he's absolutely splashed with gore. Uh, roll again, because you have advantages. <laughs> Woohoo! Thanks Damn. for calling out the advantage. That's a 23. You're going to hit either way, so yeah, first one hits. <laughs> this is just amusing to see the dice, so <laughs> just mind me. Just humor me. Yeah. Uh... Oh, yes! <laughs> Here we go again. Crit again! <laughs> Too bad you don't have action surge, right? <laughs> I know! Oh, God! Oh, Jesus, let's see. 12 plus 8. <laughs> this is first oh. attack. D, 12 plus 8. Oh, uh, so dumb. Let's see. Well, there's the 18. That's right. <laughs> Let's see. D or 2D12. This is the radiant stuff. 
Uh, that's a 12. Let's see. 2d12. <laughs> this is for the one that critted. <laughs> 16. Oh, that's good. Here comes the necrotic. There's that, and then one booper any. Literally everything I rolled a second time was higher. <laughs> uh, seems appropriate. Yeah. And just to, <laughs> for anyone new joining us, the way I handle crits is they still roll the regular damage for the hit, but the other dice is like maxed out. It's why they don't roll it. <laughs> so let's see how much total damage this is. 39 slashing. Now comes the fun part the radiance. Fifty two radiant damage, but that's actually more than that. Twenty three points of necrotic. Whee! Okay. So The total damage output <laughs> Sploot I'm guessing the total damage output is a lot. Uh total damage with the extra radiance that they take, which is an extra fifty percent of the damage I'm gonna let you know that now on the ones that were taking extra radiant damage you did 140 points of damage Mukatil <laughs> <laughs> you nailed it <laughs> <laughs> all right so first one, nice slash across the chest, and then <laughs> I slash him so hard I have, it's like you bet it in the ground, and I have to like try to shake up his guts and crap, because I made him look kind of like a disgusting kebab on a <laughs> Made a bit of a mess there. <laughs> So, yeah. A hundred and forty. That's how much health it, that guy had. If I would have had one more hit point, he would have stayed up. That's how close it was. <laughs> <laughs> that was beautiful. Yeah. <laughs> so, the kicker is, though, there is still fire on the ground. That means it can still spread. Do I have to roll? Uh, that would be your turn, correct? Uh, as a bonus action, I look at Valgrosh and I'm like, you're no longer a fiery kebab. And maybe, just maybe, you might want to have some fun with me. He's not even arm wrestling. He's just having fun. I mean, seriously. Come on. <laughs> we will discuss this once my armor and my horse and some of this forest aren't on fire anymore. Sounds good. <laughs> All right. Glad we got that sorted. 
All right, so let me roll some things. Force, God. Okay, so four spots will get spread. Now I need no directions. All right, still going to go north. Not going to try to go south. So you guys are safe. Actually, it's straight north this time. So, wait a minute. Let me see if I can still have it. Oh, <laughs> nice. Yeah, <clears throat> this time. Fire spreading. <laughs> Fub. God, starting to move north again. <laughs> oh, crap. He's left. Oh, my God. The healer is actually the one left alive here. <laughs> You typically don't do that. <laughs> I need to actually check something here. He might try to pull something. <laughs> or, he might, or he might need new pants. <laughs> yeah. He might try to pull something out here. I gotta check to see if he's got any. In his uh, inventory. Oh, he does. Two uses. Two uses. I'm not liking the sound of that. My immediate guess is a resurrection of some kind. Fine. I chose the right target. I was sick and tired of him getting burnt. <laughs> he gets a break for a turn. Uh, resurrection? Yes. It's not necessarily a turn, it's for a little bit. So he reaches into a pouch, pulls out your passive book until you can tell it looks like diamond dust. As he starts doing an enchant, as he's starting to lay this diamond dust out on top of the big guy. Oh, crap. <laughs> I'm waiting to hear it. Oh, wait oh, a minute. Don't worry. I don't have any spell slots because it oh. hasn't come back to my turn yet. Oh! Ba the bad part of Warlocks. <laughs> I only have two spells. And At it costs this... me a bonus action to, re to regain my spell slots with my spear. Yeah. But it took my movement and my action in order to, to do it. But at the same time... <laughs> Would our monk have a re be able to do a reaction, considering the guy is trying to cast a resurrection spell right next to him? That is a good question. Let me look at and see what I have since you bring that up, because I wasn't going to look to see if someone brought that up. Uh. I mean. He's not doing a missile attack, so I can't deflect. Uh, and slow falls a reaction, but that doesn't help here. <laughs> Slide <of> a hand. <laughs> Yoink. <laughs> All right, let me look under features and traits. There might be something here I can do. I don't... I believe in you, dragon. Pro-dragon. Pro this is you. Well, dragon. I mean... I don't know if I actually have anything to stop him from doing this. Playing a dragon character in your dragon. I thought there was this thing... <laughs> Um, 
Oh, wait. No, I'm thinking of the feet. There's a. Oh feet my also. god. I forgot I had this. Nemir's not the only one that can speak all languages right now. Oh? Tongue of the sun and moon. Look it up. <laughs> oh, monk thing. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I forgot I had that. Oh my! Oh. And, and I was thinking of the um. Uh, there's a feat called Mage Slayer. It'll if a creature within five feet of you, when you have the feat, casts a spell, you can use your reaction to make an opportunity attack against them. Yeah, I don't have that feat. I have uh tracker. That's the only one I have in feats right now. Or that's how I go with uh, extra points and such. So, yeah. Ooh. I don't have anything. I can't do anything to stop this. Fine. So, as you see him doing this, you see this big guy just his eyes open. You start seeing him like move. Everyone knows what his hit points is at from Revivify. I'm sure. <laughs> oh, Revivify, right. Isn't it low? It's like one. Yeah, mm -hmm. one hit point. Though Who's that's about to change. <laughs> I mean, I've got to play this. I, I got to play this clear how it was going to be done. I got to. I hate it. I hate undoing yeah. people's stuff. But, what are you talking about? This is amusing. Well, what can he do as? How much healing can he do as a bonus action? It's only going to be a healing word. It's about the only thing he's got. I think. Because it's touch range, yeah. Well, the other thing is that all, it's a all bonus movement. action. Revivify is a main action. I can't yeah. use cure wounds or... Oh, yeah, that would... Use... Yeah. So... Yeah, he's going to do a fifth level on this one. So... I wish I had more D4s. <laughs> Yeah. So. Yeah. All right. And then you see him just like giving out a note, like just some more healing going into the sky. I mean, he is still really hurting. At the end of that demon's turn, it is Kaisen's. And since we're on Kaisen, first and foremost, roll a d6. And you want a five or a six to be landed on. Lightning breath doesn't recharge. And I take it there's no water around either, is there? That would take a perception check to see if you can spot any more water around. Uh, 
your current vicinity, you're not seeing any water at the moment. It doesn't mean there isn't water around. You just don't see any at the moment. Technically, since you're water donates, you should be able to create water anyway. Uh, yes, I do have that spell, actually. So, yeah, you're able to create water. You know, I don't understand why it's not under your first level set of spells. Oh, wait a minute, because that is a class feature. That's why it's at second level. So, yeah, you can create up to 10 gallons of clean water if you wanted to do that. And I could use that to put the fire out, correct? A uh, 30-foot cube. Uh, you could kind of concentrate the rain as you would be doing in a rain form and you'll actually be creating 20 gallons at second level Boosh. so yeah I would move closer to Valgrosh and then ca uh, cast create water to try to put the flames out Roll me a D8, please. D8 is to see how much you can get put out in this turn. Now, I'm not saying the rain's going to stop here. It's still going to be going. All right, so. So those. We'll just do that. We know there was a dead body up there. Don't worry about it. So, yeah. Fires are getting put out. You got four of them out. But it rain's still going right there. <laughs> kind of strange. That it's like... You know how you can almost see the rain line? That's what you're seeing right here. Valgrosh right there next to you. And I also have a question. I have something called Channel Divinity Preserve Life. Could I use that on Valgrosh and uh, the War Horse? Well, the horse is in way more danger than I am. What does Preserve Life do? It says, as an action, you can use Channel Divinity and present your holy symbol to restore up to 50 HP. Divided among any creatures within 30 feet up to half a creature's HP max. You can't use this feature on an undead or a con construct. Oh. Oh. Okay. Right. Um. <laughs> the only problem with this is the create water is an action as well. Okay, so I'd be able to do that next turn then. Yeah, you can definitely do it next turn. And odds are I'm, go I'm going to do my best just to uh, dismount and dismiss my horse. I don't need the horse getting torched when they're clearly injured. <sighs> All choose. right. Anything else? I mean, she could do a bonus action spell to help heal the horse some more, if anything. If, uh, if, uh, I'm actually word. going to do a mass healing word on uh, pretty much everyone that needs healing. What's the range on mass healing word? 60 foot 2? 
Yeah, 60 foot. Yeah. Okay, uh, what level? I was thinking third level. All right, third level, that's a 1d4 plus 3 for everyone that is within 60 foot of her that needs healing. Go ahead and roll your uh, d4. And as you know, I don't take one, so re-roll that. That's better. <laughs> Anytime, Sin, I'm glad. Oh, max healing. So, seven points of healing to who all needs it. I think everyone here that can use it. I know Zarin's going to take that seven. So the horse got seven hit, so up to 17 hit points with the horse. That works. Uh, so that would be your turn, Kaizen. Well, wait a minute. You still have the Bahir. That's wanna... true. Yeah, I figured the Bahir would, uh, move up and probably try to bite one of the, uh, other demons that's in front of it. I was thinking it could loop around and try and eat the cleric. Oh yeah, I could do that. Ah, it's a rough terrain. Oh boy. I guess I could go. All right, so I guess he can go right there and take an attack at it. At the cleric, if that's what you want. That's my suggestion. All right. Uh, due to the fact you cannot get lightning, breath, or charge, you do get multi-attack. One as a bite and one as a constrict. Now you can do it in either order. It is plus 10 for it to hit. Doesn't doesn't it need to constrict something before a swallow hole? Or can it just do... It has it to be constricted first. So if you want to do the constrict first, you can go ahead and roll the attack for that. I say constrict then bite. Yeah, that sounds good. Uh, constrict it first. All right, roll your attack. <sighs> um, what would I roll? Plus ten. A one d twenty plus ten. Now I'll tell you the damages if it actually hits. Which, on him, if it doesn't hit, as he's not armored. Okay. Uh, let's see. That's 20 and 20 right off the bat. So that's 40 points of damage already going out. Roll me a 2d10 plus 6 for bludgeoning. And then I'll tell you the other one. Uh, 
Uh, 2d10 plus 6 for slashing. That was bludgeoning damage. Now the slashing. Oh, hi! <laughs> All right. Who? He's looking really rough from this. I'm not. And due to it's a crit, he auto fails the save. I'm gonna make that a ruling on something like that if it's a crit hit. Makes sense to me. Ooh. Now you can do your bite, unless you're wanting to go for just a swallow. Stop. Sure, let's just have him go ahead and swallow him. Make a bite attack. And it's still plus 10. Your attacks are plus 10 with them. Okay. <clears throat> yeah. <laughs> About the only way it could fail. <sighs> Anything else, guys, in this? That bite misses. Uh, that will be it for me. All right. Now, Mary, it's your turn. Um, I have a question. All right. Could I give up my action? To let the Bahir take another attempt. Yeah, I'll allow that. As you're part of the Bahir Pandora box, sure. <laughs> you can give up your action for Bahir to take one more attack roll. Bye. Okay. So, Intraconic, I'm going to say. Get him. So, plus 10. That one hits. <laughs> so, he will definitely be swallowed. Lord. I think he is. Alright. Go ahead. You still roll the bite attack damage for this. Uh, do I? Okay. Yep. 3d10 plus 6, and it is swallowed. 3d10 plus 6, you said? Yeah. Even though technically you don't even need to roll it, but we're going to. Okay. I'm just taking it off the board because it's inside the Bahir. <laughs> but let's. Eight. And I'm going to use my bonus action to restore my spells. All right. And then that's it. That's my turn. All right. Big guy's still up. After being killed. I think he would go after Zeran because of damage. I mean, 
Well, two basically yeah. did kill him. <laughs> <laughs> you killed me. Time to kill you back. Yeah. Good luck with that. <laughs> and he is going to go ahead, as he does have legendary action points. He's doubling his attack against him. Meaning four axe swings and two mace swings. One, two, three of the axes hit. Wait, how is he doubling? Legendary point. I'm using it up. Uh. To get double attack on Zarin. Zarin can take it, though. Okay. And one mace hit. Though it's going to be funny what happens to this mace afterwards. <laughs> <laughs> oh, look, you don't have a mace anymore. Uh, yeah. Uh. All right, that's 20 points of slashing. God dang it, 16 points of bludgeoning max damage off the mace. Damn. All right. So 36 points of damage from to Zara. All right, so you just see axe swing hitting, mace hit, another axe swing into Zarin. Zarin's having problems trying to dodge this because he did not expect this guy to be back up in a way. Then another axe swing as he takes it. The mace, Zarin's finally getting his reactions and literally knocks the mace out to out of his hand flying back towards uh uh Navmir. you see this mace fly right by you dink chunk i give a surprise <laughs> squad <laughs> and then one more axe swing but zarin actually ducks it this time no, sorry, not squawk. Call. There we go. Uh, all right. Startled burb noises. All right. Startled crow. That would be Hit's turn. Zarin is up. You know what? He's going into a uh, protective stance. And hollers out, finish it off! Valgros, your turn. He's wanting you to take the killing blow this time since he's got its attention. You have advantage on your attacks. <laughs> well, then, since he's standing right there. Oh, look, I have, oh boy. You have and advantage. I have I have advantage, and I have branding smite active. Yeah, that's what I know. <laughs> Yay! Let's see if I can do this without dropping my goddamn spear. Um, I did have actions ready, but I don't think I'll need them. Okay. I mean, it would be, is. It'd be very sad, but also very impressive. I got two ones. Nope. Neither of those were ones. Uh, oh, well, hit. You're definitely hitting him with a 28. Yeah, 28. So that's going to be... Uh, yeah, I think it's 1d6 plus 6 for physical. Yeah. yeah okay. Physical. Come on, buttons. Work. Thank you. Weak. 
Radiant from the spear. Okay. That's twenty. Okay, that's that's. A bit How different. are you doing this? <laughs> <laughs> that's <Power> spear. <laughs> He's dead. Trust me. He could only get up to fourteen hit points total. I roll and that's up. without me having the that Jesus. That's going to discharge the freaking. Um, oh God, that's going to discharge radiant strike. <laughs> yeah, so he's going to turn, lunge, and hit him just right, so he gets a surge of energy, and his head explodes with the, with that burst of heavy radiant energy from the spell. <laughs> And twist and pop. And twist and pop, yes. So as he is faced away from you now, Valgros, as he was focusing on Zarin, who had already put him down once. And Zarin's deciding, hey, finish him off. He sees where you've got the good opening while he takes up a protective defensive stance. You jabless. <laughs> a shower. Um... <laughs> you take the spear right to like the base of the neck in the back. And that radiant energy goes out and yeah. The head explodes out. I'm actually gonna make a deck save to see how much he's gonna get covered. <laughs> oh god. <laughs> oh, to fail. I'll be I'll be the bloody tar, I don't care. <laughs> well you All already right. are. <laughs> <laughs> I'll be the even more bloody tar. Yeah, well, okay, so yeah, you're covered. Yeah, you're getting a lot of stuff on you. Oh, it's on 14 for the save. And I'm outside the aura, so I don't get an extra, but... Somehow, Zarin does not get any of that on him. <laughs> <laughs> he phases in and out of existence like a flash. <laughs> <laughs> Or he's just Tiger's doing just a twirl standing. around the body or something, just staying out of the splash zone. First thing Val Rush is going to do is heal her freaking horse. Because holy crap. <sighs> heal, check, spells, whatever it takes. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I mean, depending on what spells... Uh, there too, concentration doesn't need to be up for that. Someone might want to cast uh, Beacon of Hope and maybe get us full healing going out. Yeah, that would probably be a good idea. Why don't I get right on that? Uh, I was actually... Uh, except yeah, that, that would... Yeah, Kaizen. <laughs> Kaizen? <laughs> yeah, I would do that. Because I don't need to burn my only other third level spell. <laughs> All right, so Kaizen drops the Shield of Faith on Namir, who never needed it. <laughs> Probably making his feathers glow a bit. Yeah, and as she becomes a beacon of hope for everyone, oh. max healing for any heal spells that goes out. Oh, Zeran God. looks kind of rough as well. I mean, he he's gotten hit a few times. I mean... Yeah, I know. He's still healthy compared to some people, but... So, yeah. One to one hit of cure wounds and my horse is going to be fully healed. Alright. The max I can do is 18. Yeah. 8 plus 2. <sighs> like, holy cow. Let's get, also get the fire out. <laughs> um... Since I'm in armor that's not very flammable. <laughs> oh, holy cow. Zeron would probably also go up there, try and start helping put it out, maybe grabbing a blanket out of a... to try to snuff it out on this... And it's basically on a log. That's why the fire's been there the whole time. It's like a major log it has been burning off of. <laughs> Campfire in the middle of the forest. Not the best idea. Mm -hmm. 
So that was a hell of a fight. <laughs> but due to the fact that uh, we still have lo- your rainfall that's happening there, thanks to Kaizen. It's eventually going to go out. Yeah, it's going out. Uh, there's marshmallows. Yeah, that's that's a treat that can be made. Yes, I don't see a problem. (laughs) It became a bright green marshmallow. Mm. So, yeah, with that. I say we rest and let the Bahir have its food. (laughs) Yeah, I say a rest here might not be a bad idea. (laughs) Even though, as Zarin kind of, after the fire's out, kind of sits down. Uh, Whenever you call those four chicken... Does anyone know the name Benetrent right off the bat? I'm I'm fogged right now about it. Does it ring a bell? If it's not on my list or whatever. <laughs> oh, actually, you can look at your list on this. Um... Look at that list. Woo! So, yeah, Mukta, you pull out the list, start reading it, and as you're going down, there are some that you still need to know about, though you know a little bit. You don't know as much as probably Drache would like to know about them. You see a Benetrit Frost and Helena Frost. Benetrit Frost, Helena Frost. And next to them, it's automatically stated that they are demons. Or half and demons. They're demons. <laughs> Looks at Zarin. And he sees the fire in my eye. Because demons! <laughs> That's. Then why are they saying they're reporting? I swore it's like, oh, we're just wanting to report to our Lord Benetrin. That's what they said when they flew over. I don't <laughs> understand. Well, well, if their Lord was so great and stuff, all he has to do is be like, oh. By the way, uh, uh, we're actually friendly and stuff, you know, like, uh, try to engage in healthy behaviors. But the thing is, they screwed up big time with the good old fire. Maybe they could have redeemed themselves, but they certainly screwed it. (laughs) Uh, So, Zirin gets up and would walk to... The demon body that is being ate on by Bahir. And in Draconic, I need to check for a mark. Just allow me at least look for a mark around the upper torso before you eat, please. Does anyone want to help him on this, or is he going to be rolling this persuasion and hope the Bahir will agree? <laughs> if... Uh... Perception will help. I definitely will. Let's see. No, I'm talking in talking to the Bahir so he can check. I mean, yeah, you can help with the checking, but he's trying to persuade the Bahir not to get riled because he's wanting to check for something. I would say to the Bahir, uh, he would like to check that demon for a mark of some sort before you eat the upper torso. Would that be okay with you? Alright. Who wants to roll persuasion with the vantage? I only have a plus two. (laughs) 
It would have to be I, persuasion. I. Yeah, that's that's what it is. What's your persuasion? Plus one. Uh, I can roll mine. What's yours? <laughs> Plus four. Sure. Persuasive verb. <laughs> sure, you're with her. Yeah, go right ahead. Roll it. <laughs> I don't want to be it. <laughs> Oh, I went exclamation by accident. Ugh. Ugh. You got advantage. Okay. Roll. Tan will not cut it. 18? 18 actually was a DC. <laughs> <laughs> Meter <to> beat. <laughs> yeah. So the Bahir's like. I'll take my time as I've already got a nice hole one in my stomach that seems to be dead. Of course, and Draconic. There's like, thank you. Uh, help me look for this mark quick. Uh, perception or investigation is the way to go with this. Uh, um, well, they do that. I'm going to go over here, sit on the log, and do, like, sit down cross-legged to do a small ritual to talk, uh, talk to my patrons. Okay. Uh, Napper's are. All right. So, uh, I think Mukatil was going to help looking for the mark. Yeah, buddy. So, go ahead and let's do this real quick. Heck yeah. We're both looking. We're not investigating because I, I... Doesn't matter. I'm not going to find it. I hope you do. <laughs> Got that. <laughs> All right, Mukatil. Yeah, buddy, we're team, man. We're team. <laughs> so, Mukatil, as you're looking at one side, uh, Zarin on the other, Zarin's not finding it at all. But you happen to found on the neck a mark, and this mark is very familiar to you. You've seen it. Many a time with many a demon you've killed. Ah, Belzrath. That's right. They're Belzrath's demons. And yet, hopefully everyone's been paying attention. <laughs> yep. Belzrath. And then we heard a thing about Bendriot. My head's hurting. What? Were they what? spying on... Were they spies for Benetrit then? I'm beginning to wonder. Maybe. I mean, I don't want to think about it too much, but I'm definitely going to write it down. So Please I'll do. That do. Thingy. Yeah. So. Namir. You do your old ritual trying to contact Nabrazar. Uh, yep, Nabrazar. Let's change the music up here. As <laughs> 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 uh, yeah, let's do that. Uh, Nabrazar, I have a question part question part request if you'll indulge me
Yes, my pet, what can I do for you? So we encountered a few succubi that apparently follow orders from a demon called Ben Bentrian. Is it possible that you could maybe patch me through to him so I can have a short conversation asking him about it? Is it is that possible? <laughs> okay. Um. Out of, me... out of character. <laughs> the only reason why I'm asking this is because since I do have the Pact of the Fiend, and since they're both since they're both major demons, to in my mind, that's what I'm thinking. Yes. Yes. I'm thinking that could possibly work. Dragon, you must remember, we have confirmed the identity. He is the second of the Pandora twins. <laughs> All right. Doing the rolls. <laughs> okay, <laughs> I want to check to see to make sure something will work, and I'm not going to have problems, because if I'm going to be doing this voice, I've got to have the voice working. Okay. Testing. Why am I hearing myself? God. <laughs> okay, question. Is stream yeah. hearing me twice? No. Uh, let's double check here. Yes, it is, actually. Or it's, like, actually kind of funky. It's, it's a bit weird. It's, like, almost like a robotic? Yeah, something... I don't know why, but I don't have it to hear myself, but yet it's making it hear myself. I don't know what's going on tonight with voice mod, but uh, uh, give me one second. I've got one way I might be able to fix this. Because in Discord, you're, you're, I can hear just you. Yeah, mm -hmm. so it's got to be coming from that. I think it might be coming from Twitch or something. No, I don't <laughs> think so. So, let's try this again. Tell me if you can hear it. Can you all hear me? I can hear you. Do you hear it in the voice mod voice? No. We're just hearing your normal voice. We're not hearing it uh, in the voice mod. All right, that's not going to work. I was trying to just mute voice mod. But obviously, that would have been the case. Why were y'all... Oh, great. So, as you can see by my response on Twitch, I switched off my mic and head and uh, audio to Discord, and it's like, no, they don't sound any different on Twitch to me. Uh, is like Roll Twenty picking up your mic or something? Because it is designed to do that.
Uh, it shouldn't be picking up anything from me. Because I have all that turned off. Beats me. I don't know what's going on tonight. Because I'm going to do this in the right voice because Benetrent actually has a voice here. Alright. I still can hear myself. Does it sound like Ben to you? Beacon of Fuzzy. Hello and who, what, when, where? In, in stream or? In Discord. Okay. Give me a moment. I'm going to I'm going to have to do something here, I think. I may lose my mic for a second, everyone, so give me a second. Oh, and you're getting added. Am I? I'm scared. <laughs> All That's right. just Archer. Can y'all hear me okay? Discord shows. As you are currently, logging. yes. Sounds fine. All right. Uh, what I just did was restarted this. Let's see if this is going to work. Um, uh, come on. Come on. How do I sell now? It <laughs> works now. It it works. Works. Oh, right. I've missed you. Oh, wait, wrong night. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Now that I got the voice modulator fixed. Oh, I know. Huzzah. Okay. So. With this request, <laughs> hmm. very well, pet. I don't see why not, as he supposedly is an ally. And as the flames in your mind, they actually die down and you start seeing a swirling of icy mist. Who am I speaking to? Uh, hello, my name is uh, Nevmer. I am a Kingu. Kingu Warlock. Ah, uh, yes, yes. Uh, you're part of the group to give information. Am I correct? Uh, I didn't quite catch that. Sorry. I didn't either. Ah, uh, yes. Uh, you're part of that group that's to get information if I am correct. Uh, correct. What um, do you need? It's about four um, special succubi that were that we encountered. Uh, one of our allies ended up he overhearing them uh, say something about reporting back to you. Um, uh, I need no more than just special. I mean, there's a lot of special ones. Uh, one moved through Earth, another took, uh, created a tornado. 
Those are the most notable things. They they had more control over elements than a normal succulent. But it looked like each one had a separate element. Ah, uh, yes, yes. They were uh, actually supposed to be spying on some of Bowser's group, as they're not really known to be with me. <laughs> I didn't quite catch that. Uh, yeah, say we're supposed to be spying on some of uh, Balsrouse demons there in the southern edge. I, I kind of know where you're at. I may come speak to you in person. All of you, in fact. Give me a moment. Okay. So. Um, so once that communication breaks, um, Nemer is going to give a quick thank you to Nabrazar. Quickly get up, go over to the group, and says, uh, "Before you make it to the group, Nabrazar has one." Yes, it mm -hmm. seems you got a high lord demon coming your way. I would be very careful, my pet. He I... is still a demon. I'm going to try. <laughs> That's why I'm going to warn everybody else. And don't be doing more foolish things, pet. <laughs> and that's the last you will hear. <laughs> okay. So yeah, after that, I am... Nevermore is going to stand up, quickly go over to the group, and says, uh, so I was able to talk to Bentrian, and he's coming this way. But it seems he's on okay terms. I just try not to attack him. <laughs> Please. He is a, he is a, very high ranking demon and I I don't want anybody hurt, to get hurt this is in like a multitude of what different places <laughs> I'm just gonna I'm just gonna look at you for a long time <laughs> I'm gonna look at Zare and I'm gonna see what he responds <laughs> Zarin had started to just meditate for a bit as well I mean he had taken a lot of damage so he's just trying to let the pain subside so he was meditating though he did hear every word keyword there <laughs> keyword there is was <laughs> yes yeah, so he opens his eyes looks at you So you have a demon lord coming. You don't want us to attack a demon lord. <coughs> Mukatil, not. How are you feeling about that? <laughs> um, there's a thing I noticed you're doing. It's called a uh, meditation. Um, you you mind having a, another pupil? <laughs> I, I, I would love to. Uh, I'd love to take part in that. You know, <laughs> be great. Yes. I will definitely be happy to teach. Though he kind of is pausing as you start, all of you in your area, you start seeing this swirling icy mist. The Behir starts looking up around like what's going on, per se. 
I would actually tell the Bahir that we have a demon coming to visit. Namor is going to throw in a friendly, a friendly demon that we don't attack. Sister Friday, second th uh, phase theme play. <laughs> So Never would probably be like around here at this point. <laughs> yeah, I haven't gotten a good ice demon token yet, so. Uh -huh. Actually, I've got one that could kind of work if I redid colorations. Now, which way is he coming in? From the east or west? Right now, all around you. There is like a swirling ice mist. It's kind of actually gotten a little colder. In this area. Um, and that's guys, where he's going to be I hope at. Your brain has stopped by now. If it has it, it's turned to ice. So, all right, token I'm going to use for this. Think of it in blue instead of fire, okay? This is a special token I had because it would be kind of representative. About right here would work, in a way. <laughs> oh, he's like right there. Like, right there. <laughs> okay. As I say, he's instead a, of fire, it's guy. ice. <laughs> he's a big guy. Got it. Yeah, yeah, he's a really big guy. Showing up. <laughs> uh... Nimbra's going to clap his hands together and then point them both at Bendrian. Bendrian, I presume? Yes. Uh, voice mod. Uh, it's not on. Sorry, when you started to talk, it wasn't on. Hello? Yeah, we can hear you at least. Okay, I, I have rebooted again for some reason. It just was doing yeah. the same thing. I'm probably well, in the voice on. now. It's on now, yeah. All right. Luckily, this is close to the end of the night, so. Okay. So, hello. Mm -hmm. Oh, yes, you must be the one that just tried to talk to me about uh, the Dice Sisters, I take it. Um, out of character, you might want to speak up a little more because at times it's not catching your mind. I heard it perfectly. <laughs> okay. Yeah, I'm not going to change your voice out at the moment, but basically he was talking to you, Nevmir, about uh, being the one contacting him about the sisters. Uh, that is correct. Ah, yes, yes. Hmm. This time he would hear like multiple voices, not the one that he heard in the in the mind call. 
Okay. Oh, nicely done on these demons. They deserve this. I hope you're having a nice meal. You would actually hear in Draconic to the Bahir. So, uh, about the sisters, they were actually spies for me in Balzrath's little army down here to the south. Siren translate. Oh, oh. <laughs> So they they were sent down here. What to spy on Bal's Rouse on his forces? Yes. We did. Yeah, we did encounter them. Um. We weren't sure if they were friend or foe, so I did use a spell to hit them, and I apologize. Well, part of the hazards of being a spy. But I will pass your apology on to them. Though I'm sure they also attacked in turn, so I don't think there'll be any hard feelings whatsoever. Um, that's, they didn't. That, that's, that was the odd thing. Uh, they did. did. They did. Yeah, they did. I see did. Yeah, it hit me. Oh, right. Sorry. Uh, one of them did attack uh, Mukatil, my friend. Honestly, I could care less as long as, you know, we can get to an agreement. I've been with demons before, so I guess I could do it again. If people behave and don't burn down things. Oh, well, you, well, you see my style. I'm not tired to burn. <laughs> Rusty. But here's my thing. While yours is definitely better when it comes to destroying things, I don't want everything dead because of ice either. Or be like, uh, you know, a, a blizzard that they couldn't... Uh, the sun couldn't even, you know, penetrate. I don't know what you guys do for magic. I'm assuming you're really high powerful, so. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I am. What the? That's odd. You know what? Do your, do your best Bentrian accent. All right. I don't know what voice mod is doing tonight but I've had it. So, back to doing now. Uh, well, I'm not the type. I am wanting to take over where Balsrath is such a a mess. Chaotic. Just has way too ambitious. See, here's my thing about taking over and all that. Um, where in Cantaria would you be doing this kind of stuff? Honestly, I would kind of like for you and Quintec, Drache, the others to sit down and talk and have an agreement and such because no offense but demons kind of rub me the wrong way a lot i've already Unless... had people talking to 
those people, in fact. Uh, Serena, uh, actually, my uh, priestess, Freya, has even spoken to him, along with her brother, as they do work with me. Oh, they exist in this world. Mm. Cool. Are mm. you taking care of them? Oh, yes. Yes. In fact, uh, Serena was rescued by another group that's doing some things for me right now. I wish I could be here helping with all these demon problems, but it's just... They're kind of in a different plane at the moment, so I don't know if you will even be able to get information on them. I'm so sorry. But, you know, timetables, trying to keep Bowser from ruling all the Katarias. I thought this was the best course of action that they could do. Everyone's busy with the invasion. Yes, yes, indeed. Even though it, I think they were going after a Tarasca last I know in that plane. I just hope they what? come. <laughs> yes. Um, uh, some people call them wild cards, so. <laughs> they sound pretty wild, all right. <laughs> Uh. <laughs> 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 yeah. <gasps> so, yes, well, they have done so much good. They rescued Serena from the Keeper's prison where she was being held is, is that name on our list Serena yes to make a deal. yes all those names were on the list that he's already mentioned so far so I'll take care of that later there's a reason why I haven't wrote anything down yet let's see But, uh, as I say, the spies, uh, in fact, I've already mentally told them to come back. So, do not be uh, worried. They will not do any sort of attack as they approach. I, I could, I guess I can apologize for my spell. Mm -hmm. And, of course, uh... Uh, Lyran can apologize for using one of her watery eye spells against you. As he looks <laughs> to... <laughs> you think a little beam is gonna hurt me. Cute. Um, but I guess no harm done. It's just still... While I do like the fact that those two cloud chasers actually... Um, LOC. Do I know about Luna yet? Uh. Luna no. Chaser? No, you do not okay. know. Okay, so I'm going to ask that. Um, there is another one of Kilgara and Freya. Um, her name is Luna Cloud Chaser. What about her? You just see him frown and actually kind of hang his head down. Before the group that I've been working so closely with could emancipate Freya and Kilgara, Luna did try to rescue them from where they were being held prisoner, only to be... She's no more. Let's just... It's... I really would not want to 
bore you with the gruesome details. One second on that. Um, doo -doo -doo. Oh, this isn't going to be good, but I'm going to try it anyways. This is insight. Too bad I'm not the most insightful person in the world. So here we go. Oh, yeah, no, no, he's fooling me, if, just in case. <laughs> he's actually, on that part there, is truthful. <laughs> I mean, if, you, if I'm hearing this, you want me to make an insight roll, but... You, know. you can if you want to. I mean, any t if you want to make an insight on any one of my NPCs, you can at any point in time. I have an advantage in this one. And then I can't roll beans! <laughs> but I, I have it. That's um. Wait. The word? Proficient. Miraculous as this may seem. Wasn't. Wasn't Luna part of this group, originally? All right, the Luna Cloud Chaser on Alter Qatar. You're on Alter Qatar oh. at the moment. Okay. Yeah, we're we're not in the same world. Your Luna that you know is alive and well in uh, Kara at the moment. <laughs> Why okay. would Dragon kill her off, dude? <laughs> well, I, sorry, I thought that's who you were. No, 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 no. No, this is the Alter World. The, the alternate Valgrosh is dead, too, so. Yes, along with Kai. And Kaizen. Yeah, yeah. and. You have to talk to Kaizen. Yeah. Yeah. Actually, speaking of, uh oh. Um, Nefer's gonna like snap his fingers and and asks, uh, "Do your spies possibly know of a weapon Valzrath is making?" Oh, quite possibly. Uh, there's been a few different weapons. Um, I do know, I think one has been destroyed. Uh, but uh, there's several. I mean, what are you wondering about exactly? One that makes a large part of land completely barren. Dead. Ah, uh, ah, uh, ah. Uh, that one. Yes, uh, I believe it's still experimental for Bowser. Something I would never use. I mean... There's a beauty in everything, even here, with the nice trees and all. I, I, I'm actually kind of glad to see that it looks like there's been fire and it's been put out. Though, if my spies had to be doing this, obviously there must be some sort of reason behind it. And I don't know why. We have permission to ask? By all means, when they arrive. Uh, but as for that weapon, it was a uh, something that worked off of uh, on the fire elemental stage of uh, massively compressing like fireballs together, like. 10 or 20 of them into one blast. I, I'm, I, it's something out of my range of understanding, to be honest. I'm not, I'm not the most technical. I don't like the technology crap, personally. <laughs> Muttering under my breath, I just feel like, that's a lot of, that's a lot of Bastille's anti-germinators. <laughs> wonder if he would have heard you go for it that's why I did it just for fun oh 
Oh, in fact, probably even more. Oh, yes, I, but still, I've already met personally. Um, probably got off on the wrong foot, but I think we're smoothing things out. He's definitely quite powerful. And you could say that. Be kind of bad to be having that against us, wouldn't you say? <laughs> <laughs> uh oh, see, I love talking to him. <laughs> so Passive perception, you and Valgrosh, as you two are the proficient perception people. You start hearing more of a wind twirl happening. Not I mean, bad. yeah, you definitely okay. Since you want to roll actively, or are you doing a? Oh, you do. Uh, okay. I, yeah, I, I said it was and roll and went. Uh -huh. okay. Perception, yeah, and as such. Mm, Well, as they, as they get closer, never would turn to look at them. Yeah. Since they're right there. I mean, Mukatel and Balgrosh would have known they were coming and would have looked in the direction. And... Hmm. And before the talking begins... We'll find out next week exactly what all is going to be said. No! <laughs> oh, yeah. We got to leave it on a cliffhanger. <laughs> Always got to leave it on a cliffhanger. <laughs> sure. So. Dang cliffhangers. <laughs> hey, that's what makes the next episode better. Yeah. So, uh, hopefully, everyone... We are raising money for Able Gamers. Uh, it will end tomorrow. So, if you can, help support. Let people know. Re. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Archer. I have to kind of... You know, cliffhangers are fun. Keeps you anticipating for next week. With this interesting RP and... Uh, me having a <laughs> actually work on a couple of things. <laughs> Sometimes I do this for another reason too. <laughs> so, with that, check out Able Gamers. If you can, help support them as they do help gamers that are disabled to be able to game. Uh, we will definitely rate someone. In a few, I don't know who exactly. Uh, it seems that Sin is currently alive. All right. Well. He's on Fallout 4. Jeez. Most of the rest of the channels I have active are, are just broadcast right now. Except for Sin, you, and one person I don't know, and, and uh, somebody from Wild Abandon. God. Yes. Yeah, so, with that... We'll probably write in, and uh, hopefully y'all have a <laughs> great night, and come oh, yeah. Friday night, what's happening with this Tarras that's being freed? <laughs> Tarras! Oh, no. <laughs> yeah, can't wait for Friday night. That will definitely with be interesting. One, with one person being able to talk to it. <laughs> yeah. The most simple mind is did one. <laughs> to be fair, I said simple fair, minded, not <laughs> it is. He is also talking to a gigantic creature. Yeah, 
It's going to be interesting to see what happens Friday, so definitely come check it out as that will be our kicking off for American Cancer Society. So with that, keep on gaming, everyone. I will see you all Friday. See you next time.